Amber and Tanner in the morning on today's country for Augie 92.9. And it is time for wine with the man himself, Ben Fine. How are you guys doing? We're great. How are you? Doing well. We also have Tracy here. Hi, thanks for having us. So what is it that you guys do with Jackson Family Wines? Uh, as, as a wine educator, I, I get to do a little bit of everything. I get to write some educational content. I get to make some, some videos or recordings like we're doing, talking about wine, food and wine pairings, vineyards. And I get to spend time with, with our business partners, our extended fans and family. For example, when you two want to visit one of our estates, I'm going to join you and I'll, I'll take you around and, and we'll learn about some wine. And then, of course, we have Tracy. Yeah, so um, so I have a I have a pretty awesome job. I, I don't mind bragging about it. I get to um, help run our culinary team out of the wine center at um, at Kendall Jackson. But one of my favorite parts of my job is that I get to I'm the cheese specialist for the company. So I help create wine and cheese pairings for um, for our different brands. Incredible. So today we're going to be doing that. We're going to be having some wine and cheese. Yeah, you get to have a, a literally a taste of what part of my job is today. <laughs> and a big part of what you guys do is right now, obviously, we're in a shelter in place here in Sonoma County, and we can't go to the winery. So can you tell us more about how we can get wine to our doorstep? For sure. So we have put together yourwinestore.com. And the concept is, that, as you all know, uh, Jackson Family Wines, we are a family-owned wine company but within Jackson Family Wines we have many different wineries you're, you're going to be tasting three different wines today and and finally you can go to yourwinestore.com and you can order which wines you want from all of our different wineries and you can get the you can get one bottle you can get a six pack at 10% off you can get a, a full case of 12 bottles at 20% off and if you live in Sonoma Napa, Napa County we will deliver it to you for free within 24 hours if you want to drive and put the windows down just to get out of the house, you can come to Kendall Jackson Wine Estate and Gardens and pick it up. Or if you're anywhere in the U.S., we will ship it to you at a flat cost rate at $15. And Tracy, I believe we're offering some, some food with the, on the website as well, correct? Yeah. So like Ben said, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the first opportunity for, um, for people to get so many of our brands in one place. Um, so that alone makes it really unique. Um, but we're also offering some food things, some food pairings and some, um, some things for your pantry because we know it's tough to get things right now and everybody's at home eating three meals a day. Um, so we're offering um, not only like olive oil and um, you, know, you can get our cookbook, but you can also get these cheese and wine pairings and a charcuterie um, offering as well. So we've broken it down to, you can get a white wine package, a red wine package, and then a charcuterie package. So you can, if you're, you know, just focusing on white wine, you can just buy the, the cheese package that pairs well with white wine, or you can get all three and make a party out of it. I say, why not go for all three? I mean, really, it's the smart choice, right? It's the, it's the smart decision to get all three. Yeah. Well, we received a box right outside our studio yesterday, and so we just dive straight into it? Yeah, let's go. Let, yeah. let, let's do it. Breakfast of Champions. And uh, I think I, I want to talk a little bit about each of the wines, and, and of course we have the curd nerd, Tracy, here to talk about the cheese pairings. So let's start. I see uh, you have the Chardonnay, Amber, and uh, La Crema. Oh, nice. Beautiful. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a hefty pour, Tanner. Oh, well, you know, five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so La Crema is one of our most recognized wineries. It's been around since 1979. We just celebrated our 40th year anniversary. And the cool thing is when people visit our estate in the Russian River Valley, they're like, oh, I never knew about these wines because we have single vineyard Chardonnays and Pinot Noir through Oregon, through Mendocino County, all the way down to southern Santa Barbara. But what you have is what helped put La Crema on the map. This is the La Crema Sonoma Coast. So why don't we, before we jump into the parent, yeah, why don't we go ahead and try it on our own? So go ahead, Amber and Tanner, we'll twist your arms, go ahead, yeah. So you'll notice lots of big flavors right off on the nose, right? A lot of what we would call orchard fruit, things like green and yellow apple, some pear, maybe some lemon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tasty. And, uh, Right? I mean, it's a, it's a nice fruity breakfast, and yes. you might notice some non-fruit floral notes, and that's going to come from our oak, right? We are the only company in the United States that owns a stave mill in France, so French oak is important to us, so those, that vanilla, that nutmeg you're getting, 
that's all from the oak. And then when you go ahead and taste it, this is full bodied, it's rich, it's textural, it's layered, right? Long after you've had a sip, there's probably a lot of flavors going on. And Definitely. As you, can see, you could enjoy this wine by itself. I know I do all the time, but yeah. it, it's <laughs> even better with uh, food. So I'm going to pass it on to the cheese whiz to see what she would pair it with. Yeah, I mean, this this wine is, it's, I'm not supposed to say I have a favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> um, and part of it, it's because it's just got this really nice, it's like this juicy acidity on the finish, um, but also this nice kind of mouthfeel um, as you have this wine. So it's got this really nice balance. Um, so I've given you two different cheeses here that I think would pair well. The first one is Petite Brie from Marin uh, French. And this is like, a, it's like a mini brie. So, um, I have so to. yeah, you've got that. And I, I want to tell you, if you if you order this or get this package delivered to your home, all these cheeses should be pulled out to be room temperature, but especially the brie, right? It tempers and it gets this really right. nice texture. So, um, so you know, it's it's cool and it's it's like really delicious and luscious on the inside. It's got that nice kind of earthy rind on the outside. So I think it really adds a adds. It just adds to this pairing as far as the mouth feel. And then the second cheese I think would go well with this is the Carmody from Bellwether Farms. This cheese okay. has this awesome like buoyant texture, um, almost bouncy on the palate in a good way. And then this nice like tang on the finish, like if you were drinking a glass of fresh milk, which is kind of mimics that finish, that lingering kind of juicy finish on this Chardonnay as well. Maybe throw in a bite or two of Marcona almond as you're trying this as well, because Marcona almonds are a little toasty. And, um, and a little earthy, so it's kind of gonna play up with that Marin Brie, the rind, and then some of those notes that Ben was talking about from the oak. Wow. Almonds are a game changer. Right, they really are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I love- Delicious. I love Brie, but this Brie's next level. Yeah, this it Brie's really, so good. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. And, um, and yeah, I mean, it's just one of those tasty, like, right, like Brie and, Brie and, and Chardonnay are really, really good pairing. Yeah. And that Chardonnay and that acidity sort of cuts it. So you're like, okay, I'm ready yeah. for another bite. Next thing you know, the cheese is gone. The wine's empty. I know. That's the only problem is that the next thing you know, it's all gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's next, guys? All right. Let's move on to the Pinot Noir. Mm. Don't have to twist my arm for that one. <laughs> yeah, I, know, this is I, my I couldn't favorite. let you guys drink alone. I had to have myself a glass of Chardonnay too. <laughs> <laughs> Never let us drink alone. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna move on to Pinot Noir, and, and like you said, Tanner, you're a fan. I am a fan too. And luckily, you'll see on your wine store, we offer lots of different Pinot Noirs from all over the place. And before we jump into the pairing, hold on, I can hear the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> well, not right. kidding, have so some I, I was thinking a fun thing because people have asked you, you know, how, how can we do these wine pairings where we're at home? And I think because Pinot Noir is so flexible and there's so many different styles. Do any of you guys watch Ozark? Yes. Uh, yes. Don't give anything away. I've got okay. like three episodes. I'm left. not going to give, I'm not going to give anything away, but this Pinot, I was thinking about it because when we talk about the fruit in it, it's bright fruit. It's what we call high tone fruit. So think red fruit, like pomegranate, cranberry, high acid. So it's bright, but it's earthy and it's got a bite to it. It's got, it's got some rough edges in a nice way. It adds complexity and, and not just fruit characteristics. So to me, this thing was Ruth Langmore, right? Because <laughs> she's bright. I mean, when you see her, it kind of, you know, something's going to happen. You like her personality, but you know, she's got a bite to her. Uh, and but she she's fun at the same time. She's one of my favorite characters right now. So I think it's a fun if you have different wines and since everyone's Netflixing pretty hard right now, it's that's a way to look at it. Okay. Um, Interesting. Yes. Hopefully Julia Jackson likes <laughs> Ruth Langmore since <laughs> this is Julia's Vineyard Pinot Noir from Cambria. This is where Jess Jackson, Barbara Bank, this was their first their first estate down in Santa Maria Valley where the kids grew up, and of course, one of their daughters is named Well, Julia. you know, Ruth so Langmore's real thing. name is Julia. Is it really? Yeah, oh, Julia no. Gardner is her name. It's I Destiny. Ben! That's Destiny. Uh, there it is. <laughs> and that's why we drink wine, folks. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so this was their estate, and the first thing you should know is you're not going to name a vineyard after your daughter if it's not producing 
high quality fruit, right? Since, yeah. So since the mid eighties, this has been one of the more recognized vineyards down in Santa Maria. And I, I sort of already talked about the flavor profile, right? You got some high fruit, you got some earthiness. There's a little savoriness, which is very common in wines down in that area. And uh, I'll pass it on to uh, Tracy to talk about some pairings. Okay, I've given you some a uh, couple really fun cheeses to go with this wine. So the first one is um, from Point Reyes Farmstead Creamery, one of our favorite local uh, creameries. Most people know them for Original Blue, um, but they make a really delicious cheese. It's actually the second cheese they've ever they made, um, and it's Point Reyes Toma, and this is like a farmer's cheese. They call it like a table cheese. Wow. Um, the cheese is so good, and it's got this great balance of like um, salt and creaminess and exactly yeah and it's and this it's just this is so nice with this wine because it adds this like layer of like like i said this salty this creamy and so it just kind of like pairs really nicely it's one of those pairings that like everything's really harmonious well, then, um, when i pair these yeah. together is i have the pinot and you have that bite that ben was talking about and it hovers around for a while yeah so you take one bite into that cheese and completely neutralizes it and almost relaxes your mouth. Exactly, exactly. And it's in a good way, right? It doesn't take something away from the wine, Absolutely. but it just, like I said, it just leaves this kind of harmonious, um, you know, pairing on your palate that's really pleasant. Yeah. Um, and then I gave you a little bit of fig jam there as well, which would be mm -hmm. tasty, just a tiny bit of that fig jam on there. The other cheese I gave you is from Central Coast Creamery, and they are also in the... Um, they're also located in the Central Valley near Cambria. So um, that's why I wanted to pair this, this cheese with you as well. This is a goat Gouda. So this cheese has got some age to it. So it's not like a typical chev, like a, you know, a soft goat cheese. This cheese is like, it's meaty and earthy and hearty, which yeah. again, is gonna do the same thing. Like it's gonna really kind of pull on those tannins a little bit and tame them and leave you with this just like nice unctuous, um, you know, pairing this flavor on your palate. It kind of has like a greeny, bluish, like tint to it. The goat yeah, Gouda. I think the blue is maybe coming from right the the wax on the outside is right. a little bit yeah yeah. So it's not it doesn't taste anything like a blue cheese, but it's no. just got like really like I said, it's just meaty and hearty and holds up beautifully to the tannins with on this wine. Yeah, I, I love how you you use the word neutralized tanner, mm -hmm. and that's it. I mean pairing sometimes you. You get a great pairing by bringing two things that are similar together. Sometimes you want opposites, contrasts to, to bring out yeah. flavors you didn't even know were there. So, and also what's fun is, you know, mess around. I mean, you guys, there's two of you and you got a whole bottle, right? So maybe try Chardonnay with not the classic pairing just to see. Sometimes it's good to learn about pairings by trying one that's maybe not as successful just to understand what's going on on, on your palate. Absolutely. Uh, Helps you appreciate when, or, uh, when something really does work. That's something that I love so much about these boxes that we received is we can try these other things because I'm the type of person that I don't get out there when it comes to cheese a whole lot. So I have all these different options to try things and might find something that I like that I didn't expect. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, the biggest thing people want to do since it's so nice out is go wine tasting, go experience things. And this is such a great way to kind of bring it to you, bring it to your home. Because ever since I moved here, this is all I've wanted to do was go wine tasting and eat cheese because that's what I thought Sonoma County was about. And now since all of this has happened, the coronavirus pandemic, it's just been completely impossible to do that. But now here I am in our office <laughs> on eating cheese. Hey. Yeah, and that's that's one of the great things about, about this opportunity with your wine store is that you can, that's what we wanted. We wanted to be able to bring the wine country experience to your home. And like I said, you can have this just with your family. Or I know a couple people that have actually done this where, their different friends have bought some wine and the pairings and then they'll get on zoom like we are yeah. and they'll all do a they'll kind of yeah. do a, a virtual together yeah. um you know cheese and wine pairing and tasting and it's it's really fun it's becoming a thing it's not just your regular happy hour and it can be ben and i like to say this you can geek out as much as you want on this you can go deep you can learn as much as you want or you can just eat cheese and drink wine and have a good time right. so it, you know anybody can participate at any level yeah, I, I mean, I agree. That's the thing. You can have so much fun at home, zooming with friends, tasting the same wines that you've ordered. And also it's looking towards the future and okay, I know I like Pinot Noir. I'm going to order this, these six different Pinot Noirs from different areas. Now, which area I really like for Pinot Noir. And now I know where I want to go visit 
once we're at that point again, yes. right? So it, it, it's it's fun and it's you can start planning and so many different ways to um, yeah. explore. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Ben, don't forget about the rosé. They've got oh, the rosé yes. too. Rosé all day. Rosé all day. Perfect. And, you know, I think often people start tasting with rosé. We just happen to go at the end, which is fine because it's a nice palate cleanser as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, here in uh, Sonoma County, a lot of sun, a lot of rosé. You guys have probably seen rosés all different colors. Oh, yeah. Um, Copan is, is the winery of this rosé. And Copan was really started, the owner and the original winemaker learned in France. So the idea was not to try to make French wines in California, but to use what we call old world techniques or maybe some French old school traditional winemaking techniques here in California. And so you'll notice with this rosé, really high in acid, right? Your mouth is watering. It's good, it, it, right? Lots of flavor. Um, and the color is not dark at all. What you do with this rosé is you remove the skins, the darker skins from the, from the rest of the grape, and you let the juice sit on it just for a little bit. And then you go ahead and get rid of the skins and you make that juice like a white wine. So that's how we have that really nice light color. And it, the lightness goes on from the color to your nose and to your palate, right? Really floral, white lilies, mm -hmm. I think peach, I think fresh strawberries. And this is something you want chilled. It pairs great with a body of water. It pairs great with the sun, right? It's never too early, as I can see. You guys, I don't even know if you're listening to me. I see your It face. pairs great with my backyard. Yeah, it pairs great <laughs> with your backyard. And it's very, it, it, it goes well with so many different types of cuisine. And uh, let's hear about it for you, Trace. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite, rosé and a charcuterie board is one of my favorite things. And I'm not gonna lie, I drank that bottle and a charcuterie that was my dinner last night a bottle of rosé and uh, <laughs> been there and sister board. and i i have no shame in saying that it was so beautiful out yesterday and i all i wanted to do was be outside and so um that's what i did and so like like ben was saying this rosé it's like it's bright it's bright 